Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa and in today's video I'm going to be making some Hawaiian roll French toast sticks. So the ingredients that you will need is of course the Hawaiian rolls. These are the ones, the King's Hawaiian, the original Hawaiian sweet rolls, and then eggs, cinnamon, vanilla extract, and milk. So for the bread, what you want to do is cut it this way first and then you also want to cut it again this way so each piece is going to get cut into four pieces and then just break them apart like that so I'll show you again how I cut the bread and I just like to do it in twos like that just it's just a little bit easier for me but you definitely don't have to. Like if you had one piece like that, you would just cut it this way and then take each one on its side and then cut it that way. So you have four pieces out of each roll. Now for the mixture, I'm going to take three eggs I'm going to whisk that together and then I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract and then for the cinnamon I usually don't measure it I just sprinkle it in whisk that together and then I'm going to add one cup of milk I'm going to add just a little bit more cinnamon. Okay, so you want to melt a little bit of butter in your pan. And then take your bread, dip it in your mixture, but don't let it soak for too long because the bread is so light and fluffy. You really don't want it to soak for too long, just like that. And just let it cook all around. So once the French toast has browned on all sides, go ahead and place it on a plate with some paper towel. Soak up the excess butter or oil. And then just repeat for all of your bread. So this egg mixture that I have right here, this is actually enough to make like the whole the whole package of Hawaiian rolls. If you're gonna be making less, like maybe just half, you could just do two eggs and like half a cup of milk. Um, and that would be enough. Now if you want, you can sprinkle powdered sugar on top, which is what I'm gonna do, but you definitely don't have to, but you know, it's extra good with sugar, powdered sugar. So here's what it looks like with the powdered sugar. And of course you can have it with syrup. So that is it you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys try this out. It's so good by the way. So yeah, that is it. Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye everyone.